Hey everyone, Simon here with Top Tennis Training and in this video we're going to go through a 15 minute workout using your body weight and your tennis rackets. So a tennis specific workout using only your tennis rackets and your body weight. Now this workout consists of five three minute rounds and if you feel like that might be too much for you, you can start off by doing only two or three rounds to begin. So the first exercise is simply shadow swings with one tennis racket. You'll need a bit of space for this because you'll be swinging your racket at high speeds. So you don't want to be smashing up your house. Now in this drill, make sure you're working on the open stance, semi-open and the neutral stance. And don't forget to split step in between shots. In this next drill, you're now doing a hop and split and you're alternating between hopping on your right and left leg. This is a great drill for that split step and also the coordination in your feet. In this drill, you're now shadowing your backhand. It doesn't matter if you're a one or two handed backhand player, you're shadowing your backhand. Once again, don't forget about the split step, that recovery step, and use the semi open, open, and neutral stance when you're doing this drill. Now we're doing normal press ups, so the arms are around shoulder width apart. You're simply going down to the floor or as low as you can go and back up into that straight position. Try to keep a straight line through your legs and your back and try to make sure that you really push off the ground using that explosive power from the chest. In this exercise you're now doing high knees so you're basically sprinting on the spot lifting your knees to around waist level and you're going as fast as you can pumping with your arms pumping with those legs and you're going for 30 seconds in a row. So that was the end of round one. We now have 30 seconds to rest. You can focus on your breathing. If you're feeling stiffness in any particular muscle, you can take this time to stretch out those muscles before the next round begins. We're now shadowing our forehand volley and once again you're focused on that split step moving through the volley and recovering. So it's all about having that small swing when you are imagining you're hitting this volley and having fast feet. So 30 seconds in a row. In this drill, you're now working on that double split step. So you're starting off with your feet together and you're going into the double split step and coming back. So 30 seconds of high intensity with this drill. In this drill, you're now shadowing your back and volley. Once again, focus on having a compact swing and working hard with your feet. This means split stepping, moving through the volley and then recovering. Make sure you also shadow different heights of the volley. So high ones, low ones and medium height volleys.
In this drill you're now doing a side shuffle step on the spot, so it's that quick change of direction, focus on having the body balanced when you're changing direction and really push off when you swap legs. In this core exercise you're now doing Russian twists with your feet off the ground. So this will make it a lot more intense. If it's a bit too hard you can also put your feet on the ground and that will make it easier. So try to rotate your upper body, your torso and you're going for 30 seconds in a row. That's the end of round number two and now you have 30 seconds to recover and really focus on your breathing. Deep breathing through the nose and out through the mouth if possible. In this drill we're now working on that forehand once again so focus on that coil and uncoil using the different stances the semi open the open and the neutral stance and don't forget about your split step you could also take this time to focus on your breathing exhale when you're swinging forward inhale when you're preparing for the shot In this drill you're now doing a crossover step on the spot so once again it's all about that quick change of direction. Make sure you're really low when you push off from the outside leg and maintain good balance throughout this drill. In this drill we're now working on that backhand slice so we're shadowing the slice backhand once again focus on the split step and having good technique so that early coil with the upper body and maintaining good balance throughout the swing. In this drill you're now working on your upper body balance so you're in that press up position and you're simply touching your opposite shoulder. So your right hand touches your left shoulder, your left hand touches your right shoulder. All the while you're maintaining good balance in that straight line all the way through your legs and back. In this next exercise we're now doing the plank for 30 seconds so focus on really squeezing those muscles in the trunk in the core and really contract those abdominal muscles. Hold that good uh, line between your feet and your head all the way through so don't let your hips or your bum come too high or too low. So maintaining that straight line throughout the 30 seconds. That's the end of round number three. So now focus on your breathing. You have 30 seconds to recover before the next round. Now, if you feel like that, that's enough, you could always stop here. And the next time you do this workout, try to go for round four and even round five. But if you want to carry on, focus on your breathing and get ready for that next round. In this next drill we're now shadowing our forehand volley but this time using two rackets. Now if two rackets is too heavy or you feel like you can't grip the rackets uh, you could always go back to just doing it with one racket so it's up to you. If you want to make it a bit more intense and a little bit harder and the weight to be a little bit heavier then use the two rackets. So simply focus on that small compact swing and being intense with your feet once again. 
In this drill we're now doing a split step and then we're going into a crossover step. So one time you'll have your right leg in front and then the next time you'll have your right leg going back behind. So split into crossover, once again going in tens for 30 seconds. In this drill we're now shadowing our backhand volley using two rackets. If it's too heavy or you can't grip two rackets, use the one racket, that's okay. Once again, focus on that compact swing and being intense with your feet. In this drill, we're now doing wide grip press-ups. So your hands will be a little bit wider than the normal press-ups. This will target the different parts of the chest and make it a little bit more intense. So wide grip press-ups for 30 seconds and do as many as you can in those 30 seconds. Remember to feel like you're going all the way down and all the way up. In this exercise we're now doing ab crunches so we're not going too high we're just lifting the torso off the ground slightly feel that contraction in the abs and then go back down 30 seconds do as many as you can with these small ab crunches That's the end of round four, so well done if you're still going, you're doing fantastic. Focus on your breathing. If you want to stop here, you can. If you want to carry on and finish round five, focus on the breathing and recovery before we begin the next exercise. In this balance drill you're now working on shadowing your forehand off the front leg which is the left leg for 15 seconds followed by 15 seconds off the back leg, the right leg. This will change if you're a left handed player. Once again focus on your balance and maintaining good technique throughout uh, both sets of 15 seconds. We now go into the double split steps once again, so maintaining that wide base and being explosive with those two split steps and then getting back into that starting base. Intensity throughout the 30 seconds and getting ready for the next exercise. In this drill we're now working on the backhand balance off the one leg, so 15 seconds off the left and 15 seconds off the right leg. Once again, it doesn't matter if you're using a one-hander or a two-hander, you can do this drill for both strokes. This drill, the hop and split step, once again alternating between the right and left leg and maintaining that wide base when you do go into the split step. In this core exercise we're now doing knee to shoulder crunches. This is quite an advanced exercise, this is quite intense. If you can do it for 30 seconds you're doing very well. So you start off with your body quite extended, quite straight, with your feet off the ground, your legs off the ground, and you go into that crunch position and then return to that starting base.
normal press ups once again for 30 seconds. Now see how many you can do in those 30 seconds if you can get past 18 or 20 reps you've done very well. And this is the last exercise of this workout. If you've enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and make sure you turn on that notification. Leave a comment down below as well. What would you like to see from us in the near future?